let's continue and i have already restarted my android studio and if you see i am able to view the attributes for now so first of all let me give a id of uh, let's say a card view then that should be okay and what i will do is i will change some of the property over here if you go to the at common attributes over here let us set uh, some radius of our uh, dp radius is the corner over here so let us give a 8 dp and card elevated uh, is by default let's give a 2 dp and also use a card card use compact padding just click on over here and set as a true so if you can see now a bit difference over here it will show your card radius you can see if it has a 10 if you want to increase it more then you can just increase it and if you also want to increase the uh, card elevate uh, to elevation to 8 that should be also fine you can see it's uh, this is actual uh, card uh, which is a hidden width but you can see that it has gone inside with the elevation card elevation of uh, 8 so I think we just make it a little bit too that should be fine enough so we don't need a, a bigger space or a padding and that should be fine enough for our card view so let us uh, I, let me minimize everything and inside this card view i need to add a layout uh, let us add a constraint layout just drag this one and put it inside or put it in here inside your design view and just set it so we have a constraint layout now we will be able to add uh, more text let us add a text inside let me drag a uh, text view from here, uh, which is a text view. Just drag over here and I will just place it over somewhere here. And uh, I will give a ID first. So first of all, let's just give a text view and I've just said, uh, just remove a text from here and let us give a text. And I will, this is just for your, if you see the text, this one, this is just for you and you, you, it will only be available for you to see in your when you are development but actually when you run them that text will be not shown so if that's just for your development environment if you set over here that will be for you to if you can see in your in your design view as well as when you run the app you can see that text but if you want the, that text not to be appear on your application when your application is running then we can make use of this text field over here uh, i can just say as a player player a okay let us give a simple name first uh, we can just say as a player a and the label i can just give as a lv and say player a and let me constrain it so i will constrain it to the top of let's say it and also or left to it and what i will do is let me go down over here and to the let us give a text size of uh, 18 and you can also set the bold to true and also we can set some like uh, i think let's go and see some of the options that we can configure from here i think i have some option available so let us search from here so uh, we can find some more option that we can configure i think we can configure our font size so if you go to the font over here it's a font family you can just change to like uh, let's go uh, you can we have a lot of font over here uh serif mono space yeah i think that should be better player a and player a and we also need to have a player b so let me copy this one copy from here and just paste it here and this is player uh player a2 so i just need that one to on the right hand side and the left hand side i will just on let me remove the constraint from the left and we will constrain it to top and to the right 
and we will change the level ID to LB player B. And also we have to change over here to B. Yeah, that should be fine. Player A and player B. And what I will do is we need to set a point down below over here. And what I will set is what we need a one more text view. Or uh, let us just copy this one. Copy this and just paste it just over here. And I will just drag that one little bit down over here. And let me remove the constraint from the top. And let us constrain it to over the below the player A. And let us set as a 8. And this one also let us give as a 8. And this is why I think this is 16. Okay, so we need to make it 8. And uh, we will say about the text, we just give a game point to zero, the initial value. Okay, so when we give a zero, I think the Ellingen main is run out. So what we need to do is we can just drag this one and can just Ellingen it to the right of this player uh, level A. And also the left hand side, let me remove and let me constrain it to the player A so that it that way it will be on the middle you can see it will be in the middle of the player A that that will look I think more better so we just need to change the ID so I will just say as a text a text view this is a text view of a point so game point A so game point of A I'm just okay let's leave it and let me arrange it properly from here so after that we'll have a player b and let us copy this uh, game point a and just paste it below just paste this here okay no we need to inside inside this one not outside of that constraint so we have a game point and what i'll do is i need to constrain this one to over here and this constraint I need to constrain it to here and the top constraint I need to remove the top constraint just remove the top constraint over here and constrain it to below the player B so that should be uh, fine okay and uh, let, let us change the ID of here to game text view game point of B The current game point of uh, this text uh, player to be is this one, and yes, yeah, so I think we need to make it to it, so we can have a same. Yeah, okay, the level is correct, and we need to have a final point over here. So we'll set one more text view over here to show the game point. So game point maybe we can show on one text. So just me add one more text view. Okay, why not we just copy and we don't have to change the font, everything, right? So we just copy this and paste it over here. And first of all, let me change the name of this one. Text view game point only. So this will be our game point. And let me change the text. Let me change the text to game point. So we have a text view that's the game point and what I will need to do is I'll just drag out of here and just remove the constraint let us remove constraint let us remove all of the constraint and let me drag not the text inside I need to drag this one so let me drag the constraint to the top over here and I'll just say as uh, 8 and let me constrain it to the why I am selecting that one. I need to select this one. And the constraint it to the right of the player A and also to the left of the player B. So that way it will be in the middle. 
and the left and right i think eight and eight in case uh, it's two divided at the small uh, screen size so we also need to make sure that one game point and we also after game point we also need to have uh, one text view to show the what is the game point so whether we what game point you set okay i will just copy why not we copy this one and uh, let me just drag it a little bit down and just concern it below to this one our game point and let's set it to it and we will constrain it to the right and left of this game point itself and we will change the text view to zero and that's the value of okay let's say to 100 okay that's fine let's look better now i think and we can also now set the card view width initially we had set the value of our layout to 250 why not we change it to wrap the content so now you can see we have a wrap the content and what we need to do is we have to set this one to the bottom constraint and we'll say it and also this one will constrain to the bottom eight and this one too so we will constrain all three to bottom at eight and that should look uh, better and if you want to change the color or something of the card view that's uh, up to you and let me set says to eight and also eight and left and right so it will be on a bit over here let's look uh, i think uh, better so uh, we'll continue with this one on our next lecture and let's meet up in a next video